This is a pure memorization question. I would love to be able to arithmetize here since the n doesn't really matter. It's just kind of a placeholder. But with exponents, especially fractional exponents, we're not going to be able to comprehend what kinds of numbers would work here. So we're going to just need to know the rules. So let's start with the first rule here that we're supposed to know is what happens when we raise a power to a power. Well, in those cases, we multiply the two fractions. Okay. So multiplying fractions, remember, that's a basic fraction rule that is the easiest thing that you can do with fractions. So this two, these two pieces together will come out to n to the 5 sixths, okay? 5 times 1 and 3 times 2, that's going to get us our, our exponent there. But let's not forget, we have another n to the 5 sixths right here, and what's the rule with these? Well, when we have a power kind of being multiplied by another thing with a power, so these, these two terms are separate, we're multiplying them together, not raising a power to a power, now we kind of add. So we're going to add these exponents. 5 sixths plus 5 sixths is going to get me n to the 10 sixths. Now that is simplifiable, right? That's a fraction that we can reduce. So we can reduce this even further to uh, 5 uh, thirds. And again, that's not an answer because now we have to convert that with another rule into a radical. And the way to do that is that the top part is the exponent and the bottom part is the root. Just remember that the roots of a tree are on the bottom of a tree. So the root of the, uh, the, the term is on the bottom of the exponent. It's, it's a lot, but here we go. That means now we're going to have the cube root of n to the fifth. That is choice A. These other ones are very, things that you might get if you do something wrong, so this is why it is really just about memorization. You have to have confidence with these rules. These are hard questions. There's really no other way to get them other than to memorize this and to just kind of practice it. So hopefully this was a nice refresher for at least two of the rules that you'll use.